Hello everyone, JWR here, and we're going to cover one topic today known as the eHarmony problem. Now, I'm not saying eHarmony itself is bad. The eHarmony problem is, in definition, as you talk about a border, it's classified as an issue three, but in definition, the eHarmony problem is our characters are dating. I'm Batman, this girl's playing Catwoman, our characters are dating. And all of a sudden, out of character, I'm getting DM'd directly. My writer, my player, is being contacted directly from this other player because she wants to date in real life. No. Stop that. Stop using roleplay as eHarmony. If you want to get a date in real life, go to eHarmony, set up your account there, set up your profile, and work on getting a date that way. Do not repeat. Do not come to roleplay for the whole sole purpose of getting a real life date. Stop that. You want to get some friends out of character? Fine. That can work. Fine. However, friends, fuck buddies, and dates. Three different things. And that is my problem with people. The eHarmony thing, that's a major flaw. Because what you try to do with the eHarmony problem is you go, oh, our characters are dating, so we should date. No, bitch. No, no, no. No, no, no. And I've seen this on quite a few people. Now, they kind of sit there and go, no, I'm not really doing that. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You sit there and you make all these accounts to try to woo the character. You're trying to keep the player behind the character amused. And you're trying to woo them in a way. Because you're doing everything they're asking. Everything they're interested in. You're trying to jump on all that. Be a character. So you can try to date them in real life. Stop that. Now, in some cases, if you're already together out of character, and then you're making characters that wind up being together, fine. That can hold some level of water. Fine. And I say that can hold some level of water because you have out of character things. You can actually work storylines to get them together right off the bat. Ahead of time. Fine. But don't sit here and go, our characters are dating, so we should date. No, that's not how that, that that's not how that works. Stop that. Do not do that. Do not do that. I can beat this into the ground. I can go on for hours about how issue three is such a problem. But I'm only covering the eHarmony problem. And that's why we are here today. And like I said, eHarmony.com is not the major problem. eHarmony itself is not the problem. It's the fact that Role players are using role play, role playing, they're, they're role playing, they are taking role play, and they're taking these characters, and they're getting these characters in relationships, or ships, they're getting these characters in relationships, and then while the characters are in relationships, they're trying to take advantage of the situation to get their player into relationship with the other player that their character is in a relationship with. Case in point, if I'm Batman, and a girl's playing Catwoman, and our characters are dating, and then she, she's trying to contact me out of character, hey, we should date. No, you're wrong. Stop. The furthest that you should ever, 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 ever have to ask out of character for information, are you over 18 for smut? That's it. If you guys are going to roleplay smut, ask if they're over 18. That's all you need to know. Well, what if they're, like, over 40? Why the fuck does that matter? In roleplay... Age doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. Names don't fucking matter. Locations don't fucking matter. The only thing that matters is if they're over 18 or under 18. Unless you're in Japan, that's a whole other kettle of fish. We're not going to go into that. 13 to 18 it has its own little bracket. Or is it 14 to 18? But they have their own little bracket. I kid you not. If you're like between 13 and 17, there's things you can do with each other. And then there's things that adults can do with you, and it's, it's, it's weird, it's weird. It, Japan. It's Japan. It's Japan. <laughs> it's fucking Japan. And yet they have a problem with their population somehow. <laughs> oh, the fuck's that? 
But that's a whole nother kettle of fish. We're not worried about that. We're sticking with the eHarmony thing. Now, the reason why this is a problem is because a lot of people are doing it. A lot of y'all. A lot of y'all are doing it. If you're making friends out of character, like out of character to out of character, fine. I'm a friendly motherfucker out of character. I am. I'm a friendly guy. I'll hop on Skype with people. I'll talk with them all day. I have no problem. Hell, you look through my channel. You'll see I have no problem talking to people. I have a fun time with it. Friends, foes, I don't care. If you hated my ass, you could hate me. You could have a vile bitterness towards me. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Because you want to know why? Because when people die and they have their own little judgment thing and all that happy stuff, I don't care. It's not my job. But if you come at me, if you come at me incorrect, I'm gonna come at you incorrect, and we don't want to do that. Want to save yourself a headache? I don't want to save myself a headache. But if you want to talk, you want to be just cool and chill. You want to talk over Skype? Cool. I'll tell you how to get all of me in Skype. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with you knowing what my YouTube channel name is. I have no problem with you knowing who the hell I am. To a degree. To a degree. On Skype, I'll talk to you no problem. I have another Twitter account that's pretty much about the YouTube channel. I have no problem talking about you there. Or talking with you, not about you. Because I, I don't know you. I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> it's not I'll talk with you. I have no problem talking with people. I don't. I'm a friendly guy. I talk to people. I don't care. It's a good time. But my problem is when people are trying to date people out of character because their characters are in a relationship. And that is our eHarmony issue. That is our eHarmony problem. If you want a real life date, go to fucking eHarmony. Just go. Just go. Just go to eHarmony. Don't use your role play as a way to get real life dates. You can use it as a way to get real life friends because that's not a problem. But real life dates? Stop that. Stop that. I'm Double R. This has been the eHarmony problem. And I'm out. Stop it. Stop it.